In June, there are very important elections to the European Parliament. This is our chance to turn despair into hope. It's a time to try and turn the whole political agenda around and provide hope for young people that they won't grow up in a world of personal debt. They won't grow up in a world of privatized health care. They won't grow up in a world of high rents and housing stress. And they won't grow up in a world of war and environmental destruction. That is our function in life, to develop policies with popular support that can bring about real change in our society. Through our project, the Peace and Justice Project, we've developed five demands. They're very straightforward. One, a decent level of pay for everybody. The strikes that have gone on all over Europe are about respect at work and decent pay and conditions. Secondly, an environmental transition that gives us clean air, gives us sustainability, but does not punish those that work in industries that need to change the way they're doing things. Unions across Europe have been working brilliantly for the production of green steel, for the production of sustainable transport models, all done with workers and working class involvement. Thirdly, housing, housing for all, housing that is affordable rather than sky high private sector rents and overcrowding. We need our people to be able to be decently housed. And fourthly, taxation. Taxation of the very richest in order to ensure there are supplies of good services for all the rest. We cannot live with these grotesque levels of inequality and call it a civilized society. Nobody should be forced to sleep on the streets. Nobody should ever be forced to beg for food or water just to sustain life. And the last point is on the global scale. Refugees are not the cause of wars around the world. Refugees are not the cause of environmental destruction. Refugees are not the cause of shortages in Europe. They are the victims. So let's have an international strategy and a policy which is about peace and justice, where we bring about an end to the ghastly war in the Ukraine. We bring about peace and justice and hope for the future for the Palestinian people and stop the bombardment of Gaza. That is a cause that all of us need to get behind and campaign for. A sustainable, peaceful world in a hopeful future on this continent. To achieve all of these things, we have to do something ourselves. That means unity. It means socialist, left, progressive forces all across Europe coming together, coming together to back the principles of the decent society we're trying to create. If we allow ourselves to be divided, it's a luxury we can't afford. And it's a luxury that the right, the free marketeers, those that would cut our public services and take us into yet more wars and conflict really want. Unity is the key.